Hey guys, let's open the terminal and type in calc.exe. When we run this, we get calculator, naturally. But where exactly is calc.exe? So if we look at how paths work, this is supposed to be uh, nowhere, which is just not the case. So if we actually type in the full path to calc.exe, Windows System 32, well, we get the same thing. But why could we type in the exe by itself? If we just take any exe on our system and try to call it by itself, it might not necessarily find itself. It might say, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. No such thing. Well, this thing is operated by the environment variable path, which exists on both Windows and Linux. And I'm going to cover both first Windows though. So, the reason why we can just type in calc.exe is because the directory C Windows System 32 is in path. So how do we view or change path? You type in path or edit the system environment variables. Then environment variables, double click on this, and here you have all the directories that are in your path. And if you look at this, yes, indeed, System32 uh, and other stuff relating to that are indeed in your path, which is why you can call calc.exe or cmd.exe, for example, notepad.exe, and so on, without actually specifying the full path. The same thing goes for some programs that you install. If you have Git installed, you will have Git in your path, which is just which is the reason why you can type in git.exe, then add whatever and so on without actually specifying the full path to the git exe. And you can actually add your own stuff to here. This is a directory that is my own. I created it specifically so I can add stuff to the path to it. So you can just click new and uh, add another directory to the path. Well, why would you want to do that? Let me show an example. Recently, um, I coded something. Chart tracker. Let's try to run this normally. Uh, it's written in C sharp, and there will be a video on it in the future. Uh, so .NET run list, and it lists all of my chores once it compiles it. Um, cool. But how do I run this if I'm not in the correct directory? Well, I would have to find it, type in this whole entire path, and C Sharp applications have a habit of being this fucking long. And then the parameters or arguments to be specific. Well, this obviously is not good at all. But I could once again open path, environment variables, uh, double click on here, go back actually, and go back, uh, rather go forward to NAT here, open it and explore. Do it however you want. I'm just doing this to copy the path to the parent folder. So what we need here is this exe to be able to type it in without the full path, we need to specify the path to the parent of this file. So we need this file, we need the upper folder. So we just copy that, uh, then go new boop. Okay. Well, I actually use a bit of a different method. Uh, so I'm going to delete both of those. And what method do I use? I will make a video on it, and it's probably going to be my next video, so keep a lookout for that. But doing what I just did lets us do something, I think, incredible. Uh, we can now just type in chore tracker.exe and then list. Hilarious. Let me fix this. 
Well, considering the fact that I'm showing you how it's supposed to work without actually using the solution I just explained, this shouldn't be an issue for you, but it is for me. If anything, the solution that I showed you is better than the one I'm going to show you in the future. Forget about it. Essentially, yes, it does indeed work. And here it is. Now I can just use the exe to execute my program. Okay, so you might have noticed this is not a shell of Windows. This is a Linux shell, Z shell to be specific, but it doesn't matter in this case. One cool thing about WSL is the fact that it shares the path. Linux and Windows have separate path variables, but WSL automatically takes the entire path that Windows has and puts it inside of itself. So if we echo the path variable, which Linux once again also has, we will see something like this. Remember, this is the directory that I added to the path on Windows, yet it's here on Linux. So this is very, very useful because even though you add something to the path of Windows, it still is in the path of Linux if you're using WSL. But what if you want to add something to the path on Linux and you can't add it on the Windows path because it's specifically on Linux? You're not like sharing file systems. Well, you would have to go to your uh, shell config file and I guess search for a path. And if it's not there, do something like this. Um, yeah, export path, and now you can add your own things. Export, still not sure what it does, but apparently do it. It gives this variable to all the child processes of the shell. Cool, I guess, so you should do it. And then path, the name of the variable. And at the end, what we see uh, we're essentially concatenating the path that we already had with the more things that we just added. And to add stuff, you have to separate them with semicolons. No, normal colons. I'm way too used to semicolons. God damn. So, I actually lied. <laughs> this is both on Windows path and on Linux path, which is crazy. Well, it doesn't have to be. Trust me. <laughs> and then another thing which actually doesn't exist anymore, so I can remove it. Uh, another thing that I added, and any time that you need to add something more to your Linux path, you just config this line where you're adding stuff to the path and then the path itself. Now I have a habit of lying in videos, <laughs> so just now I deleted uh, what I just had from the path, which is also in the Windows path. I reload my shell and then, yeah, it still works because it's in the Windows path. So yeah, I didn't lie this time, woohoo! Great. Now. Uh, Linux has Windows paths and overall it's pretty easy to work with or touch Windows related stuff from WSL. However, the path that you have on Linux, Windows doesn't know about. It can share that and overall it's kind of difficult to access Linux files from the Windows part of it, which you usually wouldn't do, but I just thought that it was important information. So, in summary, path is an environment variable that contains a list of strings. Each of those strings is a directory. Any time you type in an executable file to run it, if it's not the full path, then your shell, so Z shell, or command prompt, or PowerShell, or git bash, or bash, or fish, so on. Any shell first searches in the path for that executable file. If it can't find it by the full path or in the path, then it says something along the, these lines. 
I think this shouldn't work. Oh, well, it does now. Essentially, I just installed Node and I needed to reload my system for that to work. But because it couldn't recognize it at first, it was saying, oh, I don't know what you're, you're talking about. Well, this is exactly what will happen usually when you try to run some random exe and it's not in the path. If it was, you could run it without using the full path. So, if you enjoyed this video, press a like, type some comment, maybe have a question or a suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye! <laughs>